Welcome to another episode of I'm Dying to Tell You. This is Dr. Mark Goulston. What I'd like to talk to you about today is how to transform your life. And I wish there was a better word than transform because, you know, I'm very sensitive to words that have been overused and transform is one of those words, but I can't think of uh, a better one. And maybe in your comments, you can say, here's a better one, Mark. Um, to transform your life, you need to step out of the transactional present, which most people live in. The transactional present is, you know, a negotiation, you know, find the deal, do the deal, next deal. And we're not just talking about your professional life. That, that happens in your personal life, you know. But to transform your life, you have to skip over the present, go into the future. And what I'd ask you to do, which is something that's certainly on my mind, is think that you're close to the end of your life, or the, you're at the end of your life. And I want you to write down the three Ps. And the three Ps are professional, purposeful, and personal. Professional, purposeful, and personal. Uh, and look back from the end of your life and drill down into what that might be. So professional, and I'll just share this about me, professional is, was I able to earn a living where I could take care of my family, where I could support them, uh, support my children's college education? And if people worked for me or with me, uh, professionally, were we able to enable them to take care of their families? Purposeful means, uh, did I professionally do something that actually made a meaningful difference in the world? Now, this depends on your values. There are some people who say, I don't care about a meaningful difference in the world. I like to buy things. I like to have things. I like to take my family on vacations. And, and then that's your purpose, you know, and, and, and you want to be able to look back. And if that's your purpose, I was able to do that. You know, I was able to, you know, lavish my family with all kinds of uh, things that brought them happiness. And that was my purpose. Uh, and uh, my purpose is, did what I do in my life, did it make a meaningful difference in the world? Did it leave the world better than I found it. The third P is really the more interesting one, and that is personal. And by personal, yes, did I take good care of myself? Well, you know, I don't give myself high grades because you know, I'm not a health or exercise nut, and I need to keep working on that given what I'm facing. But to me, what personal means is did the people in my life my family, and even my friends, did they feel that I love them? And feeling that I love them is different than them knowing I love them. There's lots of marriages and there's lots of families in which people will say, oh, yeah, my, I know my parents love me. Oh, I know my kids love me. But at the end of their lives, the majority of people are emotionally shy. And, and because of that, they didn't necessarily feel that you love them because you didn't connect emotionally. And, uh, and when I check with people how often they felt they totally emotionally connected with the people they love, very few people have. Uh, and it's sad that... Uh, uh, there's a number of people who say, well, you know, I stopped my busy life and I went to the hospice and I held my mother's or my grandmother's or dad's or uh, granddad's hand for two days. And I was there when they passed and it was possibly the most meaningful moment of my life. And you shouldn't have to wait till someone's dying to have that kind of emotional connection. And there are ways to do this. I mean, you know, one of the things that I like to do is to uh, give people tactics 
things that they can do that as a result of that conversation, each person walks away feeling really close to each other. Something I've shared in prior videos is when I feel someone is caring about me, I just allow myself to take the caring in and and I become emotional. It's not a boo-hoo, oh, what am I going to do? I just I just I just become emotional and I let the caring in. And what happens when I do that, I lower my guard completely. And when I lower my guard completely, they lower their guard. They, they don't try to sell me on anything, and they lean in. And something I've talked about in previous episodes is I formed my version of the 700 Club, which is a club for people who are, who are facing you know, alcoholism and other addictions. I have the 24-7 Club. You know, I have an increasing number of people that when we talk and they care and I get emotional, they say 24-7. You can contact me 24-7, and they offer it. I don't ask them for anything. And these are people, if I had a business idea, they would smile and say, well, that's really, you know, I got a lot of things we're doing, Mark, and good luck with that. And yeah, they would have no interest. But these same people, when I lower my guard and I open up, they say, you can con contact me 24-7. Now I'm not going to contact them, so they're, they're safe. And I realized that one of the reasons they say 24-7 is not just what they want to give me, which I appreciate. It's that they want more of a taste of that real emotional connectedness because it's so rare in their lives. Some people have told me when we have the conversation that it is the most emotionally intimate conversation they've ever had in their lives. And you might think, well, that's ridiculous. Not so ridiculous. So what you really want to do, if you want to transform your life, is look back, identify what the three Ps are for you in terms of professional, purposeful, and personal. Come back to the present and think of the steps you would take, the actions you would take down each of those paths. Now, I'm not saying kick out the other things you're doing in your life, but think of the actions you would take to make those a reality. And to hold yourself accountable, I found two things that help. Schedule it. Every week, schedule something where you're having that intimate conversation uh, with people. And uh, and also, uh, uh, you know, schedule once a week to make sure that what you're doing professionally and purposefully is is uh, actually happening. And also, it helps to have an accountability partner. Reach out to someone and say, "How'd you like to transform your life so that at the end of your life, you have no regrets?" And I think you'll find some takers and you check in with each other and you support each other. So I hope you found those helpful and uh, and that it, it has inspired me to take action. But again, as you all know, I feel a little bit of pressure giving what I'm facing. So uh, take care. And thanks again for watching these and sharing them with people you know.